This team is making me go absolutely insane. They lose 2-1 to one to the Baltimore Orioles and are 1-8 and eight on the season. This team is actually making me go ridiculously insane. They've lost six straight games. Their offense, again, nowhere to be found. They get six hits and can muster up one run. An RBI double for Donaldson. And oh yeah, he leaves the game re-aggravating his calf injury. Francisco Lariano pitches a great, great six and two thirds, giving up five hits, two runs, striking out 10. He looked really, really good. Bautista was one for four. Donaldson, like I said, one for three with the RBI. Tulowitzki was two for four, and really nothing else happened. I mean, Ezekiel Carrera was 0 for four. Morales was 0 for two. Russell Martin was 0 for three. And Travis was 0 for three as well. You have your ninth batter, and your number one batter did nothing. So you couldn't transfer that nine guy to get you a hit and you know have a good start to the uh, top of the order. And the, top of the guy at the top of the order couldn't do anything either. So they were a mess again. And things are really starting to pile. The losses are really starting to pile up fast. We have eight losses already. We are one and eight. And we know it's just because of the offense. That's all we... We know the starting pitching's good. The bullpen's been fine. The bullpen was good in this one. B. Genie pitched an inning, of a th- inning in the third, striking out a couple guys. His ERA in the season so far is 1.17. He's fine. Joe Smith, he pitched an inning and struck out the side. His ERA, 1.80. Nothing wrong there. This team, I don't know what has got to happen eventually. But if something doesn't turn around, like I, like I said, these losses are piling up fast. We are nine games into the year. They have eight losses already. They have the worst record in baseball. The worst record in all of baseball. The Seattle Mariners are 2-8 and eight in the East, or in the American League. The flippin' Atlanta Braves are 2-6. and six. And the Jays are one and eight. The offense, like I said, it could be they're not being aggressive enough and they're looking for too many walks and then they get down in the count and they have to battle. It could be that they're just trying to be way too selective. It could be they're just missing pitches. It could just be they're not getting lucky or what. It could be a mixture of everything. I can't pinpoint it. I thought I'd been able to pinpoint it as we go along, but it's just really starting to get on my nerves. Watching this team day in, day out, grind. When you see the Jays, you know, when you see Baltimore score two runs in that fifth inning, a lot of Jays fans are worried. That shouldn't be the case. They score one in the sixth, making it 2-1. Was there really any thought that they'd come back and win? There was hope, for sure. I had the hope. Everybody at the Rogers Center had hope. But the Jays themselves didn't have the hope. They didn't have the fight enough. And they had their chances. Bottom of the ninth. You have first and second, one out. You move them over, okay, second and third, two out. You need a clutch hit. And you get out. I mean, it's just... It's sad... Because we know what this team is about. We know what they're supposed to be. Statistics-wise, the the team is supposed to be good. But nobody is playing well. And the only guy playing well is Josh Donaldson hitting hitting 310 on the season. You can throw Tulowitzki in there. He's been playing better. And Morales has been okay. But Donaldson's hitting 310. And for goodness sake, the guy is a... Flipped up, he's screwed up calf. And he's your best hitter. Let me go down the list here, a little bit of averages. I just want to read some of these to you. Ezekiel Carrera is hitting 188. Bautista, 152. Obviously, Donaldson, 310. Salto La Macchia, in limited at-bats, obviously, 167. Morales, 235, which still isn't really that good. Tulowitzki, 212. Russell Martin, 042. 
Pilar is hitting 242. Darwin Barney, for goodness sake, is hitting 375. Justin Smoke, 208. Goins hasn't had a hit this year. Pierce is hitting 174. And Travis is hitting 088. Or .88. Whatever you want, however you want to word it. They can't hit right now. For their life. It's it's <laughs> I never thought I'd say that about the Blue Jays. If you look back a couple years ago when they were mashing everything, you think <laughs> two years down the road, you pretty much have the same team, but they can't hit. And I would I would look at you and I'd be like, yeah, you're a joke. But that's what's happening. The pitching is doing their job. They only give up two runs in this game. You give up two runs in the last game, and you lose both games. You score one run in the last two games. You lose 4-3 to Milwaukee. Four runs at service. Well, you could still be able to find a way to beat them. And you lose 7-2 to Tampa. Yeah, you lose 3-2. You only score two runs there. It's just the offense is struggling so hard. And these starting pitchers deserve better. They're pitching their hearts out. Except for Lariano in the first game of the year. And... and um, you know, Jay Happ in his last start. But overall, they've been very good and consistent. But the bats have been consistently garbage. I don't know what's going to wake them up, though. It's not like they have an off day to regroup. It's not like there's there's anything to really tell what something's going to change. But they do have a game tomorrow night, and that's the great thing about baseball. You can suck one night, and you can go back to the ballpark the next day and play well. And that's all we can do is hope that they do. Because tomorrow, Wade Millie's on the mound for the Baltimore Orioles and Aaron Sanchez going for the Blue Jays. 707 first pitch. Again, I'm going to continue to say this until they get a flipping win, but they need a win. Not just for the record's sake, for emotional sake, for the fans' emotions, for their own emotions, and for their own feelings. They need to feel a win. They had one. And that was down in Tampa, the crappiest ballpark in the world. Okay. In the majors. You need to get a win. Let's see if we can do it tomorrow night, all right? So you know what, guys? That is going to do it for this one. If you guys enjoyed the video and you're as scared as I am about the Jays' start. <coughs> yes, he's making me choke. Just like the Leafs tonight. But anyways. Hit that subscribe button if you guys have not already. Comment down below what you guys... What, 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 can you, what do you guys think of this game? I mean... <clears throat> what can you pinpoint as, as the main issue with this team? Other, and don't just say hitting, because we all know that's the problem. What are the specific issues you guys can tell? All right? And um, we'll talk to you guys tomorrow night. Raptors edition, as we're going to do the round one preview. All right? Probably about 6 o'clock we'll do that. Raptors and Bucks. Leafs edition, Saturday night. Leafs and Capitals game two. And uh, again... The Leafs look to split that series and come home with a with a tied 1-1 series. That would be very nice. And we'll also talk to you guys, Jays edition, uh, tomorrow night. Jays and Orioles, let's get a win under our belt and break this darn losing streak. Because, man, do they need it. We'll see you guys then.